This is Muscle Central and I'm Michael Diamond. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. Okay, I've been wondering uh, lately whether we'll ever see Hunter Labrada reach uh, his full potential. Now, that's not to say he hasn't had a good career so far. He's been in the Olympia three times. All three times he placed in the top ten. He's placed as high as four. Even with all that said, I think a lot of us were expecting more from him by this point in time. Uh, and it just seems like he's never been able to really totally put it all together. He has the genetics. His father, Lee Labrada, not only does he look like him, uh, structurally they're very similar. He's just a larger version. He's never been able to bring in the type of conditioning his father has been able to bring in. But there are a lot of similarities. The potential is definitely there. And I've been wondering whether he really is hungry enough to reach that potential. Got to remember, and I, now I'm not sure what his actual title is, but he's high in the Labrada Nutrition Company. Uh, he's a big wig there, for sure. He's financially secure. The company is doing very well. Uh, he'll probably end up, in the long run, making a lot more money uh, as uh, a top player in the, in the Labrador Nutrition Company than he ever will competing. And given that situation... Maybe he's just not hungry enough to go to that level and show us his full potential. Now I'm starting to think maybe a little different. At this uh, year's Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing, now it's not really the best judge of what we might see down the line. A lot of these guys are far into, uh, well into their uh, off-season. And uh, keep in mind, Hunter LeBron is still not qualified for the Olympia, although I'm pretty damn, damn sure he will qualify. He did stand out in the fact that he's put on a substantial amount of muscle. He says he's at the three at the three hundred pound mark. Whether he's three hundred pounds or not, he has put on a lot of muscle. Considering the amount of muscle he's put on, he was in decent shape on stage at the guest posing. He did not blow out his physique whatsoever. Maybe he's a little hungrier than uh, I thought. After all, uh, you got to be hungry to, get, to, to feed those muscles to get him that big. Now we got to see whether he qualifies. We got to see what happens when he starts dieting down and how much of that muscle that he can maintain. So he maintains a good uh, a good amount of that muscle, and he can get into the kind of conditioning that we want to see him in. Given his genetics, uh, his structure, like I said, he has a structure very similar to his father's, just as, just in a larger just a larger frame. Come this year at the Olympia, and I'm going under the assumption that he will qualify, Hunter can end up presenting a very difficult problem for 
those guys that were at the very top of the Olympia placings. I personally think that we're going to see some things shuffled around a little bit this year. And looking at Hunter Labrada uh, at the guest posing, looking at the amount of muscle that he's put on, given his genetics, uh, if he can just put it all together and maintain that muscle, he might start living up to his full potential. And like I just said, if he lives up to his full potential, uh, he can end up being a very, very big problem for everybody in the on the Olympia stage. Okay, you can agree or disagree with anything I've said. Let me know in the comments section. This is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.